Hello and welcome to Talking Baseball. It's the official power rankings. We're sorting them out. It's already ugly. It's very ugly. Minus Trev. Let's talk ball. On Soto. Sinker. Put it in there. Hello and welcome to Talking Baseball, presented to you by SeatGeek, code TALKIN10. Check that out. We are at it. We are in the lab. It's August 14th. These are probably our last power rankings. Um, although I usually do love a good end-of-year power rankings, because it's like, what matters? <laughs> like, nobody cares. <laughs> it's one team won. Everyone else is out. Uh, my name is Jake Storielli. That is Trevor Plouffe, former Philly. BBD on the ones and twos. Uh, Trev, how are you? Guys, I'm doing great. I actually had a prominent pitcher in the major leagues tell me that they figured out how to get Juan Soto out. Wow. Do you want to hear the scouting report? I would love that. You just got to throw, and they said it's very dangerous. You're towing the line here a little bit, but you got to throw four-seam fastballs at the bottom of the zone because he takes a lot of those pitches, and if you can hit that spot more often than not, you're going to get him out. That's what he told me. I said, that's throwing fastballs to Juan Soto seems like a dangerous game, but it was, it was really interesting. There was a pitcher with a really good front hip two seamer that was giving him hell. Um, and I see the thought process like Soto takes around the edges of the zone. We're not going to talk about that. Although we may towards the top we of the may. list, Trev loves his Yankees. Um, we did one power rankings list. You guys liked it. Uh, everyone gets hot and bothered about it, and that's kind of what this show is about. Uh, we did want to put our twist on it. We've currently decided we're going to do a top 15 list. Uh, yeah. So some teams are going to be really hurt. Uh, well, Jake, can I explain a little bit? Please. I mean, there's only 15 teams above 500. So if your team's 500 right now, do you – I mean, like, let's go, people. That's a mid-team. So maybe we do top 15, then we just talk, you know, honorable mention or something like that because there's some some decent teams. I mean, the Cardinals, the Giants, the Reds who are on a three-game win streak. Yeah, I mean, I don't want you to think I'm I'm just a standings guy. I, I went with heart on this because um, I some of those 500 teams I'm not about. Exactly. That's why they wouldn't be in the top 15. Go Reds, go. Um, let's get into it. The second yeah. ever official Talking Baseball Power Rankings Top 15 is brought to you by Mountain Dew, baby. Are you kidding me? People are hype. Uh, a, I mean, let me go off the script instantly because you guys already know delicious Mountain Dew. Um, but man, our community has been hyped because this is like Mountain Dew. And Mountain Dew, we're doing it, baby. Um, and you guys already know, bold flavors, refreshing, refreshing citrus kick of Mountain Dew. Get off your ass. Their words, not mine. Get out. Can I say something? Grab a Dew. You could say something. Come on, let me get in on this ad read. It's Mountain okay. Dew. It's Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew is like its own thing. There's not another beverage that tastes like yeah. Mountain Dew. You They're know what I mean? the guys. It's just... This is it's do the do baby. It's a feeling. Uh, you know, I know there's like the video okay. gaming world of Mountain Dew, but it's also get out there, throw throw the frisbee, play a little golf. Maybe you're playing blitz ball in the warehouse. Uh, the mountain is calling, and you must go grab your friends, grab an ice cold Mountain Dew wherever they're sold, aka everywhere. Their Mountain yeah. Dew. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's a link in the description if you're really, if you can't find your Mountain Dew. <laughs> you know what? If you can't find a Mountain Dew, hit up BBD. He's got you. Find um, me, DM. Trev, I know, and I very much respect the spirit of it, that you would love if this was a crescendo. If we started at 15 and we landed at 1, how we do this show, though, uh, that would probably leave us an hour, 20 minutes in. Uh, debating over the top three teams for three minutes uh, and getting caught up on your 15th-ranked Red Sox. We'll circle back on that. Um, I think we need to sort out the top a little bit because we're still so new to this that 
We'd like to come up with a talking baseball top 15er. But you and me have been beefing kind of early on yeah. that I'm worried where we're going to... I don't know if we're going to have enough alignment at the top of the list. I kind of think there is... I, I guess there's not a clear-cut team. But again, we are approaching this differently. I was just asking, are we talking about if playoffs started right now? Right. Which is apparently we're not doing that. We're just talking about... Well, I don't even know exactly what power rankings mean. Right? That's why we're doing this show. You know what power is, Trev? And I'm going to, oh, you're going to get. Tell me, Pop. Please You're about tell to me. get so riled up. Okay. Power is power. Mm. Uh, really good Cersei line. Uh, when Littlefinger says knowledge yes. is power, and then she has his guards just kind of grab him. <laughs> you know what's power? Power, dog. So we're doing power rankings. Okay, if we're doing power then, I'm going to give you my top team right now. I'm excited to see because I just a little flashback for the people. The last time we did this, the Phillies were kind of the runaway 1-1. We both had are they, them. Are they not? Oh, they're struggling a little bit right now. We're scared of a little struggle bus. I don't have them as my one, but if you do. I don't have them as my one. <laughs> I don't. Okay. okay, nice setup, Trev. Who do you got? Got you. Power's power. Power's power. Okay. I still think, I still think that the Los Angeles Dodgers are the best team in baseball. Now, they haven't played particularly great ball, you know, as of late, although, you know, they have won, I believe, five in a row uh, now. They, they're, they've gone into Milwaukee and they've handled their business. Uh, they do have the best record in baseball, tied with the Cleveland Guardians. Um, they're twelve and eight in their last twenty, sixteen and fourteen in their last thirty. They're eight and two in their last ten. And here's what I this is what I think. You said power is power. These guys like when Max Muncie comes back. Mm. Okay, they just got Mookie back. When Max Muncie comes back, you're talking about like six legitimate All Star type hitters in that lineup. Okay, like that is. As deep as a lineup goes, when you're talking real track record, these guys have gotten it done year after year type hitters. I don't think anybody competes with the Dodgers. And then you have Gavin Lux kind of turning it on. You can kind of mix and match down there. You can play some defense at the bottom of the line if you do that. Now, obviously, starting pitching is interesting there, but it's st there still are guys. I mean, Tyler Glass now and Jack Flaherty at the top of the rotation. Walker Bueller's coming back. Gavin Stone's been giving him great starts. Landon Knack has been doing his thing. Clayton Kershaw, like you've mentioned many times, you're on the no postseason Kersh. I don't mm. think we're talking about that right now. So I just think overall, I still think they're the most powerful team in the game. Trev, we have the same number one. Uh, they just got Mookie back. How about that? Uh, the guy that was kind of on a clear pace to win MVP. He comes back and he returns to his best position, now playing right field. Um, they and he's a little ornery, and I love oh, it. Oh, he's mm. pissed. Uh, People are Dodger fans like, that's how he always is in interviews. I'm like, really? Like... Maybe, but like, I, don't you want him to be a little pissed? Like, I, I, I'm all about that life. I'm not saying it in a bad way. I'm saying like, we're about to see Mookie, you know, reestablish himself. You know, like in the clubhouse, like, I'm back. Mm. Not staying at that sketchy haunted Brewers hotel. Uh, they just got Mookie Betts back. What two days ago, and they have the best record in baseball. Uh, Dodger fans also kind of pissy at us, and I think we're being logical. They're saying Yamamoto's trying to come back. I, he is. I know. I know. I, I think everyone, I guess, with baseball and pitchers' injuries, with an injury like that, first season in the bigs, with the contract they gave him, um, I'm going to have to see Yamamoto to really believe Yamamoto, but he's trying to come back, and that's the whole point of power. Like, they have pitching options currently. They've got more pitching options on the way. It is the big question mark right now, but the only reason it's a question mark is because they have so much power. Like, Will Smith hasn't been going in a while, which you could put in a good side or a bad side, but like you said with Muncie, and I think the big three on top of that lineup, we forgot what that was, and they're still best record. They are still best record. Uh, that, yeah, I did... 
when it it is funny when nuts on the table looking at every team and it's like who's the one? It's tough to say it's not the Dodgers. And people will point to the Padres being seven and three against them this year. The Phillies just coming and giving them the business, taking really? two out of three right in their face at Dodger Stadium. They could point to last year what the Diamondbacks did to them in the playoffs. There's all these things, but I think when you look at the rosters, that's what we do here a lot is kind of look at the roster and just say who has the best roster. Power is power. And I think it's I think it's the Dodgers. Gavin Lux. I knew he was doing well. I think he won. I don't know if it was player of the month or if it was player of the week. He won something in the NL. Last 28 days, he's 346 in it. Sure. 347, 415, 611 for the one dot. Another if that is a if we're doing some Gavin Lux things mm. at second base now, right? Then that just adds to what we're talking about. No, another thing I I liked about the Dodgers, which I I'm interested to see where the other teams are at. Um this, is, this may feel obvious, but I think they have the least weaknesses when you're talking power, too. Like, they, they have one of the best records against teams above 500. they They're great against left-handed pitchers. They're very good against right-handed pitchers. Um, you know, whether you're looking at the... Re- they don't... In none of the splits, East, Interleague, Home, Road, One Run, right-handed pitching, left, they are above 500 and everything, which a couple of these powers aren't. Which, again, if you're looking, if we're splitting these teams apart, uh, I had that as a plus for them. Where, uh, who'd you have in that two hole, Trev? This is where it gets very tough. This is what I was asking you about the Yankees and the starting mm. pitching and what you thought about that, because I am considering them for the number two spot. Okay. Right now, the Cleveland Guardians are tied with the Dodgers uh, as far as best record in all of baseball, but I don't know if I can put them at number two just because of the starting pitching, but they've have, they've been dealing with that all year long and they still continue to win games. So like, I'm very much uh, having a difficult time picking between, I would say there's, I would say there's three teams. I would say it, it is uh, the guards, the Yanks and the Orioles. So I'll, I'll, mm. I'll option it off to you and see if you can convince me of one way. I, uh, I don't have either of those three. Um, Curious. Now you've got my attention. Power is power. Uh, You're going we'll Phillies. See. Oh my goodness! I have the Phillies. Um, I I thought about it, but they've just been playing such bad ball as of late, dude. They're six and fourteen in their last twenty. Sure. Uh, those same Yankees you brought up, they were the worst team in yes. baseball for a month and a half. The the yes. Dodgers have had a funk. Like, it's it's baseball. I, I realize I don't have to explain to you or any of the people listening who are subscribed. That's how you do it, people. Um, Please subscribe. They're still the Phillies, dog. Like, I... It... Like, the only team I, I'd listen talked about above the Phillies... Might be the Diamondbacks, but the Phillies are still six games up. Your rankings are going to be awesome. I can't wait. The Phillies are still six games up in the division. They're at a, they have a home stand with Miami and the Nats right now. Uh, their bullpen is still built for it. Their rotation. I will say the Ranger Suarez stuff. Phillies fans, I'd love to hear more where we're at about that because that guy was the best pitcher in baseball for three months. Um and he's he's been out. They still have Wheeler and Nola. They still have their whole lineup. Like, yes, losing streaks happen in baseball. I get it. I'm sure I have some tweets while the Yanks were spiraling that I was in a bad headspace and Phillies fans are in a bad headspace. But they're the Phillies, man. Like, they, they go to the NLCS. They're going to be there. Um, that I, I'm, I'm not going to let a little bit of losing get in the way of what had been an incredible start to the season. I mean, Rob Thompson is is fielding questions now about when is he going to have a team meeting? He goes, I think a lot about that. Like they're going through right. a big time. And I guess to your point, it's like, okay, Trey Turner has been struggling. Bryce Harper has been struggling. Do we think that's going to continue all year long? And I think that's been like Topper's point. They asked Schwarber about it. He said, we don't need to change anything up. We're just, we're going, it's going to happen. 
I I like that. Like if I'm thinking like a player, okay, which I people have pointed out to me many times. Yeah. You're too pro player. And then other guys are like, oh well, you forgot what it's like to be. Like, okay, Who, I'm just me, peeps. Yeah, just me. Mm. If I'm thinking like a player, though, I totally agree with you. I'm looking at the roster. I'm looking and I'm a liking. I don't know if I could put them at number two right now when they've gone 11 and 19 in the last 30. I don't think that's power right now because you're doing this list now like it's the postseason, and you told me that's not what we're supposed to be doing. I'm doing this list like power, bro. Um, Like power. Okay. I can't agree. I can't agree on the Phillies at number two. Well, let's start. Let's start sorting a little bit and we'll, we'll see what lines up. Um, at three, I had my first American League team. I did put the Baltimore Orioles. Um, and I did have them back to back with the Yankees. So let's start. Let's let's keep this train moving. And my thought process was there. Uh, I think power v power, Phillies, Orioles, Yankees. I still lean Phillies for the reasons I said. Orioles and Yankees. I, I'll be honest. I think it's as pure of a coin flip as it can be. I've been very excited to see how this AL East race goes. With the Yankees, you have two of the biggest threats in a lineup we've ever seen, and it's what else are you going to get around that? And they do have other guys contributing around that, that the offense has kind of been humming lately. Uh, First in OPS, first in on-base percentage for your New York Yankees, second in runs. For me... The bullpen has some question marks. I do have some... There's arm talent out there. The separator for me at this point between the Orioles and the Yankees was Corbin Burns. Um, And you asked me this. You were like, before the episode got firing, hey, where are we at with Garrett Cole? Carlos Rodon has been good lately. Luis Heal, the prince who was promised. The Yankees rotation is going to have something. I still don't know what. The Baltimore Orioles are going to have Corbin Burns. Um, And I believe believe in Corbin Burns. So that was my current separator between the depth of the Orioles lineup and the meat of the Yankees lineup. Their pitching both have kind of interesting question marks right now. That Orioles bullpen is doing, mixing it up, but they have bodies down there too. Um That, yeah, Corbin Burns right now is the separator until either Garrett Cole is Garrett Cole. Uh, If Luis Heal makes it to the finish line, uh, even if Rodon gets there, I'm I'm a Corbin Burns man. So I would have put Orioles at probably my number two spot. And the only question I have with them is what's up with Grayson Rodriguez. He's supposed to... They're saying he'll... It's a minor strain. He will be pitching in late September. Now, if you're talking to me, like you got Corbin, you got Grayson, and you got Led Zeflin, yeah. and your boy Albert Suarez, and you know the back end of that rotation, they can mix and match during a playoff uh, series. Then I think I think I put the Orioles number two, and I probably put the Phillies number three. Now, unless we're just rocking and rolling, we're going to go with your Phillies number two. It seems like that's a that's a that's a bold take right now. I'm not going to lie, but I I understand the reasoning behind it. So Phillies Orioles right now, you you like the Orioles as a better team? As the I mean, look, they're not exactly firing on all right. cylinders either with their record, but I. When you put it straight up like that, it's like, who would I pick? I mean, I'm Philly's World Series this year. Bro. Right. I'm just trying to give a little bit of credence to, like, the results on the field that I've been seeing with my own eyes. So that's the only thing that's that's pushing me back a little bit here, Pop. It's where power rankings are tricky and beautiful, and maybe that's why the masses like them. Um, well, I think ours are different because we only do them what. Once or twice, twice a year, a year. Yeah. or twice a year power so, rankings. So they're well, different. Twice ever just, so far. Yeah, we can't just put the Phillies way down this time because we're never going to do it again. So I guess okay, let's go. Let's go with that because I think we we do agree. If we're just looking at these teams and we're just thinking about complete rosters and we're not worried about uh, a three to four week stretch during a whole entire baseball season, and this is not because of injuries. For the Phillies, 
Like they're healthy. Besides Suarez. Dodgers, Phillies. I'm going Orioles over Yanks. I hey, I like I that like up. the lineup length. I like the lineup length of the Orioles. That's what it comes down to. I, I gave the Corbin Burns speech. I, I think even the Orioles are more set up to mix and match whatever's hot come the postseason. Like, okay, is Jackson Holiday going to be a guy? Will Cedric Mullins make the turn? Is Mountcastle hot? Is O'Hearn hot? Like, the Yankees are banking on two guys, if we're being real right now. Well, and Stanton has to be Giancarlo Stanton. Sure. I mean, Giancarlo can contribute. There's a, there's a few guys. Glaber's been hitting a little bit recently. Like, there will be other guys that contribute. The Orioles... I mean, they've got right now their bench, their listed bench, has Eloy Jimenez, who used to be one of my most feared power hitters in the game, Kobe Mayo, who's a top 20 prospect. Like, they've got options as they feel. Eloy's one dotting it for the Orioles. You just got to love that. You got sure. Okay. I'm going Orioles above. Just because I think they could beat you in different ways that the Yankees can't. So I will go Orioles three. We'll put Yanks at four. I think you're right. Um, and I do think, sure, that was there were some pleasant moments there, Trev, and I know that's not our strength. Um, I, think, I think it's about to get a lot uglier. But before we do that, I have to tell the people about Z-Biotics, game-changing product you use before a night out with some drinks. It's called Z-Biotics Pre-Alcohol. Let's face it. After a night with drinks, <laughs> I don't bounce back like I used to. Um, and I'll, I'll give you guys a story. I, uh, uh, our Boone event. You know, going to be shaking hands, kissing babies a lot. Uh, I saw we had some Z-Biotics beforehand. I was going to have some drinks at the event. I did. Uh, took a Z-Biotics. Yeah. And? Yeah. Uh, make it your first drink of the night. Drink responsib- responsibly and you'll feel your best tomorrow. Uh, the day after the Boone event Tuesday, go check out my content. I ripped. Um, and part of that is thanks to Z-Biotics. And right now, if you go to zbiotics.com slash talking, you get 15% off your first order when you use talking at checkout. Uh it's backed with a 100% money-back guarantee, so if you're unsatisfied for any reason, they'll refund your money. Look at that. So if you, uh, if you enjoy some adult beverages, which we support on this program, um, responsibly, head to zbiotics.com slash talk and use the code talking at checkout for 15% off. Uh, Trev, this is... Uh, Five through eleven. It gets a little messy, Pop. Gets a little messy because look, this is this is where I get a little sticky on the recency bias type things or the right. unrecency bias, as we just did with the Phillies. Sure, we're talking about a couple teams coming up here that have been absolutely on fire. So if we're talking about that, I don't know. You, you see where I'm going? I guess power rankings are hard. All these people that put these lists out all the time. Hey, congratulations. Your brain is must be just massive because I'm having a difficult time with it. If I was just to rip like from the hip and just rank all these Uh. teams, I think that's like almost like a better way to do Uh. it. Because I'm getting in the weeds here, coach, and I don't I'm getting confused a little bit. What's confusing? Bangorn Forest. Okay. Excuse me. Very difficult to find your way. Huh. (laughs) Trevor. How about this? And I feel... (laughs) I was going to throw out the word jealous uh, because, again, how raw I went with my list. Um, I'll just tell you, and this is where things are going to get ugly, and you know you're a man of the Central and I'm not. I'm a coastal elitist. Well, one of these teams isn't. At five and six, I put the Diamondbacks in Houston, and um, I need to lower Houston. That was that was a scared put. That was a scared pick. Diamondbacks, Padres, and Houston are they probably are the hottest teams in the game right now? Right. 
Like so, like that. I understand that. We understand that. We watch ball. We see what's we going ball. on. We are. Well, I don't know. For all we're, we're not. Ball. We're we're America's balls. balls. Okay. I'm just saying, balls up here. We're just like you know, right here. Yeah. Balls. Balls bigger than everybody. Balls. Ball. Ball is life. Great balls shirt. Life. That is a great shirt. Great shirt. Can we take that? Are people still making those? Do the do ball is life. Same. <laughs> those allowed. Okay, hold on one second though. Where are you? Because at? we still haven't even talked about the Cleveland Guardians. I know. Who look, look for their faults. These guys they win. win baseball games. I know. Okay, you can talk about the lack of starting pitching, um, but you can also talk about uh, Emmanuel Class A going four yeah. out of four nights and shutting it down. Like a bouncer at a nightclub, kicking people out, flickering the lights on and off. He's shutting it down. It's disgusting watching this guy pitch. And they got a bunch of guys in the bullpen that can do that. They've, they, they've bent a little bit over the last, I don't know, two weeks because they've right. been used a lot. But they have a formula. So I, I can't go on this list and not put the Guardians at five when they have the best record in baseball. They have probably the best... One of the best defenses uh, in all of baseball, probably the best middle infield defensively in all of baseball. They have, like I said, they just have a formula. They might not have the longest uh, lineup either, but it's it's starting to get pretty decent there. You know, you got uh, Yowinski Noel just hitting bombs yeah. at will. He adds to the depth there. You have the the regular cast of characters in Quan, Ramirez, and Naylor. You're still getting a few contributions from David Fry. Like, can he? regain that magic uh, from before it's I have to put him at five coach how could you not Houston in hindsight was a lot of fear for me um just because they are Houston um uh, I'm open to it they have the same record as the Dodgers the bullpen is one of one of one of one of one um they dominate there. I believe in Quan. I believe in Naylor. Uh, what Jimenez does on a baseball field. Gavin Williams can be really good. Tanner Bybee's been good. Ben Lively, just he's defying the odds. He's, you know, like, look, he's... Alex Cobb much, is back. Alex Cobb, no. I think he. I think he's back on the IL already. Oh. Um, Pretty sure. Something happened to him. Here's what I'll say. I'm in... Okay. I want to give a quick Diamondbacks pitch. I like the D-backs. I think they're coming up shortly in this list. I just don't think we could put them over the team that's been there all year long winning baseball games. Right. But. But. Okay. The Diamondbacks have had so much change. Yes, they've gotten healthy. Corbin Carroll has... Flipped his start around. He's balling out. Uh, Josh Bell. <laughs> I oh, mean, gosh. I just found a stat. Okay. Uh, Guardians 0-3 versus the Diamondbacks. Jake McCarthy becoming don't like... Don't start listing players that are playing well. I know that, but I just mm -hmm. don't think you can do it. Just don't think you can do it. Can I read the rotation just real quick? Just real quick. Yes. Yeah. Zach Gallen. Zach Gallen. Merrill Kelly. Merrill Kelly. Brandon Fott. Brandon Fott. Erod. Erod. Jordan Montgomery. Jordan Montgomery. <laughs> Trev, I'm just... When you're doing power rankings, and this is, this is where I, I did scoff at myself for putting the Astros, history matters. Like, dude, if the Phillies didn't have their history, I wouldn't be as high on them. But the Phillies do have their history. The D backs had the best record in baseball since like 2012. D backs like they win every single year. D backs are defending NL champs. I'm not putting the D backs over the Guardians. I can't. Okay. I'm, I'm, they're close. They're there. I'm, I'm going to put them over the Twins. The Twins. How about that? Bro. Twins are a very good team. Twins are a solid team. I can I can put your guardians at five. Are you snake six? Who are you, who are you going to negotiate? You're you're a record okay. hoe. Huh? Huh? 
I'm a what? <laughs> A record. I, I really didn't hear you. I'm very. I a said record hoe. Ho. Well, uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I like results. I don't know. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> what is this world about, Jake? Thank you for being. It's about. Is it about results? I. I have it's no fucking clue. About results. <laughs> performance okay. trumps it's about all. Performance. You know okay. that. Okay. Oh my. I know goodness. that. I know that. Where are the Braves going to be at? Oh, right. Yeah. You want. To uh, so guards five. <laughs> Let's go guards five. Okay. So right now it's Dodgers, Phillies, Orioles, Yankees, guards. Yeah. I would say there, I mean, you have, if you're talking about the Diamondbacks, you have to put the Padres. These two teams have to be like neck and neck. I think they have to be one and two right next to each other or one A, one B, whatever you want to say. I don't disagree. I, I originally and had... So I, I originally okay. had Diamondbacks, Houston, Padres, just because I do think Houston's fear fac- factor, and they are getting better, right? Like a lot of the d back stuff, they're Houston. They have the resume. I was telling you about their starting pitching. I told you it's it's on par with the Seattle Mariners. You scoffed at you that told the until world, I read you stats. You told the world about Houston's pitching stats, and we're, the world is based off results, we just found out. Um, it is. It is. That the, it's literally the world is literally drawn up over the results. So this was my original thought process when I had Diamondbacks, Houston, Padres. D backs went to the NL last year and they've been the best team in baseball for a month and a half. Houston has been playing so much better, and they are the Houston Astros. They're a border, borderline, if not a dynasty, depending how you rank them. They are a dynasty. And the Padres as exciting as they are, they don't have that resume stuff going on. So that's that's how I did it, which, again, I don't know if that's the right way to do it. Okay. I I surely love the way the Arizona Diamondbacks are playing baseball. I like the way they've constructed their roster. I think, you know, they have enough back end of the bullpen options. I think they're interesting options, but I think they're options. Like I would love to see Martinez. Like I, that guy is just an absolute freak, but he's young. Our guy Ginks, Ryan Thompson, is Seawall going to find his way back there? Like they have enough. They have enough. AJ Puck. AJ Puck is. They've interesting got five also starters. Kick a kick a guy down there. See Monty just punch Jordan Alvarez last postseason. I'll go D back six. I'll go D-back six, which means we have to go San Diego seven. Okay. I I agree with that. I agree with that. I, I don't – this is where it gets tough for me because, look, the Astros are doing things. They're in first place in their division. Do we need to talk about the Padres a little bit probably? A little bit. Go. Uh. Their lineup is becoming longer and longer. We still don't have Fernando Tatis Jr. I think that's the biggest thing for me. I know. Like they're winning these games. Uh, they have they have found some players this year that have been obviously been dominating for them. They're getting healthy. Joe Musgrove is back, so the starting pitching is looking better. Your guy Michael King is filth. That was a real piece to give up for Soto. I realize he's Juan Soto and all of that. Michael King, like. It, it you guys could use a Michael King right now. Every but team could Soto use Soto probably King. more. Yeah, yeah, we could use Soto. <laughs> <laughs> you could use both of those guys. Soto. Two years Soto. of Mike uh, King was a piece. Yeah. So, like, the, the Padres and the Diamondbacks, to me, are, like, again, like, 1A, 1B. If you want to give it okay. to the Diamondbacks because they went to the World Series last year, I understand that. And they probably have the player that's playing the best right now in Cattell Marte, even though he's kind of banged up. So... I'm okay with that. Padres, again, you know, yeah, their starting rotation is getting back to healthy. It's looking better. Um, they have some great guys at the back end of their bullpen. They traded for guys, yeah. to, you know, to to supplement that. And I think the lineup is the lineup is is good. It's good with Fernando Tatis. It could enter that right better than good <laughs> phase. So okay, I can I can get down with six and seven there. Okay. Jackson Merrill's really fun to watch. Yeah. I, uh, He's be- it's a, a boy turning into a man right in front of everybody's eyes. And I love that type of stuff. 
You do love that. And yeah, it's I just, do. it's fun to see. We need more men in this world, like it, men. Okay. Now we're talking. Like now, real men. You like look people, like, you know, you look yeah. like a lot of Twitter accounts these days. Uh, no, but like, I'm not talking about those guys that we were talking about before the show. Those aren't real men. Right. They think they, 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 they act like real men. Evan Longoria. We need more Evan Longoria. Evan Longoria, Longoria is a Longos. real man. Yeah. I only mess with real men. Mm. Family men. <laughs> that on a shirt. Good husbands. Mm. Treat people with respect, no matter what their views are. Simple. Hey. Wow. Look at this. I'll taste other dudes. Can freaking swing an axe and break down some wood if need be? I have a team that's furious as my my Astros are slipping. If I'm a Brewers fan, I'm tell them why you mad right now. Uh, if we're talking about records and we're talking about performance, we haven't got to the so we went Diamondbacks Padres. We're now at eight. Yes. Okay. And I, for me, my Astros are currently slipping. Always been my Astros. Uh, Brewers would be the next team on my board, and we're starting to sneak into Braves Mariners territory. So where where are you spinning right now? You called me a record. You know what? Yeah, I didn't like that, but I had to. Yeah, I I, I still think we have to go Brew Crew here before the Astros. Okay, I do. Okay. I do. I think so. Because they're a team, and I think if we're just objectively looking at rosters, I probably do lean Astros. I probably do lean Astros. And they, we just talked about Arizona. They they made it to one World Series, and you're giving them the world, the Astros, seven straight ALCSs, two World Series titles in that time. like Best record for a month and a half to help the Diamondbacks, but that's okay. Yeah, but the Astros are right there, too. I know. That's why I'm on the Astros train. Gee, so you want to go Astros before the Brewers. <laughs> well, that's where this Guardians thing really <laughs> messed up my shit. Although I agreed with your points. Um, this, is, this is getting tough for me. Like I, think I, gotta go, I think I got to go Astros above the Brewers. I'm just Brewers fans. I do. I understand. If, Ye- if Yelly was back. Right. And Yelly was feeling himself, but we had we had that going on. I know uh Trio's been doing great. Chorio or Trio? I think it's Trio. Trio. That's how I'm gonna say it. I'm going I'll I'll go Astros. I'll go Astros eight. It's just honest, man, and that's this has always been an on pod that like hey, I, I click on the brew crew lineup right now. I know they're uh Tyler Black at DH, like uh, Bryce Terang, after his incredible start, he slowed down a little bit. How good Yelly had been for them. Um, I mean, it's it's always tough to doubt what the Brewers pitching staff looks like on paper because although you may not know some of the names, their bullpen is second best. Like, it's very Guardians, man. So that's where, I don't know, if you, if you want to put up more of a battle for it, I, I understand, but... Like I think power power being power for me, Houston over Milwaukee. I, I like the lineup. I like the, the starting pitching is getting to a point for Houston where we really like it. They've been dominant as of late. I think you mentioned, you know, the Brewers still are gonna get the job done in that regard. But I, I think if you're talking about stacking these rosters up next to each other, it's really hard to not put the Astros above them. So I'll go Astros eight. Brewers nine. Brewers have to be nine. Have to be nine. They have to be nine. I mean, they got some studs there. Just uh, the, whatever devil magic they have. Tobias Myers is like, how many organizations did this guy pitch for before he lands with the Brewers? And then all of a sudden becomes this absolute stud. Was it an off season thing that he did? Was it the Brewers messing with mechanics or you know his pitches? I don't know, but they found the gem in this guy. This guy's nasty, dude. His last organization, the White Sox, will not be on the list. Um, <clears throat> they will not make the list. A consensus 30. Um, okay. Now, Trev, a lot of... a lot We've of the, nine teams so far? A lot of these lists do, like, top 10. Uh, and we debated doing top 10, <clears throat> and in a way, we still are. 
And that <laughs> leaves the Atlanta Braves, one of your favorites coming into this season. <laughs> the Seattle Mariners, who are toe-to-toe with Houston and have one of the strongest strengths you could have on a team in their pitching. Your Minnesota Twins, I do think the argument would stop there. I think those three teams are battling for the 10 spot. Um, I know you have some leans, bias and not. You did not include the Red Sox in that discussion. It's the Braves, the Mariners, and the Twins? For me. Okay. If you'd like to bring someone else to the table. And, And Royals are not included either. I do think... What the Twins They're have close. done, what the Twins have done consistently this season, as much as I enjoy parts of the Royals, I don't think I can put them above. Like the Twins have tightly kept them behind them now for months. This is what I'll say about the Twins. I'm, very, you know, I'm in tune with the Twins people. Their pitching rotation scares the crap out of me. Pablo Lopez has not been himself this year. It hasn't been, you know. He has not been the ace that the Twins needed him to be. He's had a couple stretches here, but he's also had a couple, a lot of bad stretches where he's, you know, kind of been a a somewhat average pitcher. Bailey Ober has been an ace. He's been absolutely incredible. A couple starts against Kansas City skew his numbers. Even with those numbers, he's fine, but he has been lights out as consistent as consistent could be. Behind that, Jake. Mm. Joe Ryan's hurt. Um, we have three rookies. Simeon Woods Richardson's, he's pitched pretty good. Uh, David Festus pitched pretty good. Zevi Matthews, who got the call, he's pitched pretty good. But like it's three rookies, man. Right. Really hard for me to like say you guys are on power. Unless these guys, you know, are like the beginning of some incredible Minnesota Twins rotation down the road, which would be awesome. It's, it's hard for me to stand up here and, and pound my chest about the twins. Although the lineup is very good. When Correa comes back, like Buxton has been going, I don't think people know how good yeah. Buxton has been. He's been incredible. Royce Lewis is like a legit superstar in this league. He's legit. Um, bullpen has been great for the most part. The, the lefty, the lefties have been interesting. So I'm having a difficult time really like, yeah, the twins, right? Right. But I think you could say that about any other team that we're talking about here. The Mariners still offensively, eh. Either I mean, uh George Kirby got lit last night. Right. One game. Can't do it to the Braves either. I can't give it to the Braves. Braves are in a crazy spot. Um they're the Braves. If I told you Chris Sale was the front runner to win the Cy Young before this season, we all would have been blown away. Max Freed is on his he's back and hopefully he's building up, but his first couple games back haven't been great. Michael Harris Deuce about to be activated from the 60 day IL. The Braves just can't be the pick right now. Um I realize they've they've won the last two games over the San Francisco Giants. Um, I think it's There's a bunch of teams that are all kind of jumbled up here. This is what we're this is where we're at here. That's so. I mean, look. Okay, I've been I've been saying results are results. Results rule the world. Then I think we have to put the Twins there. This is tough for me. I, they have the seventh best record in baseball, tied for the sixth best record in baseball. Are they really? Yeah, that's wild. No, not not in an offensive way. Their lineup, their lineup, their lineup is better, has performed better, and you know is better than those teams we're talking about. And you know, I'm a lineup guy. Um, Matt Wallner has been like incredible. Easy with that. It's been, yeah, yeah, he's been incredible, dude. Easy with the Minnesota Moose. He's Um, like on par with Giancarlo Stanton in like bat speed and hard hit percentage and exit velo and all that good stuff. I'll put 10. You know what? Let me stand up for my peeps. I'm putting the twins at 10. Because I mentioned my, my hesitation was the starting pitching. 
But those guys that I mentioned, Festa, Simeon Woods Richardson, and Zebby Matthews, right. they've all been they've all been good. It's me thinking about what could come and what could happen, but it hasn't happened yet. Those guys, been, those guys have been pretty good. I want to make one last push for my Seattle Mariners. No. They have a team identity and no. arguably the best starting pitching in the league. They added to their lineup at the deadline, and they've seen some results from that. Randy, we like Br- that. We like that. We like that. Um, they sneaky pass my Dodger test from before that they have a winning record, one run versus right versus left. Um, the only thing that I would I would try to punch this ticket on against teams over five hundred. Which is tough to be good against. The Mariners are one game above 500. They're 32 and 31. I knew um, you were going to go there. The Twins are 26 and 33 against against the big dogs. Now, I, I understand you got to handle your big. 28 and, 28 and 34. Hold. 28 and 34. I'm sorry. I was reading the Kansas City Royals. Those are, those are all the Yankees and the Guardians, basically. That's That's. Where we are at this uh, tough spot. Okay. <laughs> are you making my <laughs> argument or your argument? No. Like, <laughs> I'm just saying. They have beat teams over 500. They're just a couple teams they can't beat. <laughs> and a, those teams are at high on this list. It's a bad sign, Pop. <laughs> What's head-to-head between the Twins and the and the Mariners this year? I'm, go- I'm going right now. Let the, I'll let this was, decide it. That was a rhetorical question. Right now, mm. this season, against Seattle, the Twins are 5-2. and two. Minnesota Twins. Number 10. Mariners 11, Braves 12. Braves 12? God, Braves 12 is Braves crazy. Braves 12? That's, what, are they even in the playoffs right now? That, that's a, yes, they've won the, they won the last two nights. They should be in the dance. Right now, the Braves are in the dance two games above the Mets. Seattle currently not in the dance. Okay. So you want Braves over Seattle? I think so. I think the potential of the Braves is still higher than the Mariners. I think the results have spoken for themselves. They are a half game above Seattle right now in the rankings or in the standings. Seattle fans are just not going to be about this life. Cal Raleigh is the only player since Mike Piazza to hit 25 homers for three straight years. And look at his framing metrics. Mm. I love Cal Raleigh. Love him. He was so sad after what year was that? 2022? Mm. Or was that, yeah. Or was that last year? How sad was he? Sad. It was last year. Kind of sad. sad. He was so sad. Love that. Love sad Cal. Both of these fan bases are listening right now and screaming. You keep saying power is power, but you both have a point there. Well, let's <sighs> do this. Braves versus Seattle. Has it happened yet? Has sure it has. Happened. Braves Mariners. I'm going right now. Letting their seasons get dictated. By head to head? By one head to Hey, that's how that's how we used to do Three it. Three games. This, that's how we used Three to do it games. in this country. This is hilarious. Three games, Mariners have won two, have lost one. They've scored seven runs and given up eight. Yeah. It's about as close as it gets. That's Mariners right baseball. Them, by the way. That's Mariners baseball, baby. Mariners baseball. I want them. Mariners can still win their division. Okay. Mm. 11. I mean, Braves. Mariners. To beat. Well, trying to be Bra- the Braves fans are not happy with yeah. the season. I think they're <laughs> I fine just with say. what's going on. Bra- yeah. Braves fans might be mad we're we're mixing them up with other people. Um, as we get the final three in the vaunted talking baseball top fifteen power rankings, mix and match some Roan in your wardrobe, oh, people. R H O N E. We're ready, fellas. For the Roan Commuter Collection, it's the most comfortable, breathable, and truly versatile set of products known to man, and here's why. Because uh, they got everything. Comfy pants, stress shirts, Q-zips, polos, blazers. Their signature four-way stretch fabric, like that, 
Uh, flexible whether you're commuting to work or to the 19th hole. Posted my Nash Vegas montage last night. A lot of people like that. Uh, the commuter collection can get you through any workday and straight into whatever comes next. Yep. Head to Roan, R-H-O-N-E dot com slash baseball. Use code baseball. Uh, 20% off your entire order. Uh, 20% off when you head to Roan.com slash baseball. There's a link in the description. When you see me doing broadcasts, mm. I'm wearing Roan. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Um, Where are we at, Pop? We're at 13. So that means if we're doing this how we talked about, only three other teams would be on the graphic. Yeah, I mean, this is going to get tough because there's a... <laughs> okay. So the Royals have not been picked. Royals have to be on here. It's kind of rude that they barely been discussed at this. I think if... The, of the remaining teams, no one's on Royal Island. Royals are 13. Like, do we have them above the Braves? <laughs> Power's power. Like, I it, think, we, I mean, no. I mean, this is where everything gets messy, dude. I, I still have the Royals. The Braves, are, the Braves are a completely mid-team. Mm. The bullpen is... Has been numbers wise a little bit better than mid. They're third in ERA, ninth in WHIP, uh, sixth in K's per nine. Everything else has been extremely mid. Thirteen in WHIP. Thirteen in WHIP. I should have said the TH with the thirteen. Thirteenth mm. in WHIP. Twenty third <laughs> in OBP. Thirteenth in OPS. Like they just haven't exactly done anything right. Now I'm gonna go to the Royals and see what they're doing there. Better record for the Royals. I would say a deeper pitching staff. Royals are seventh in whip. They're twelfth in OPS, and then their bullpen has been really bad. I the Braves have guys coming back. The Braves have guys that look like they're taking off. Where it feels like they don't have any MVP candidates on their team. Uh, they do. They're hurt. Oh, Chris Sale. They do. They're hurt. Um, getting votes. I, I'm, I'm not doing Royals Braves right now. Um, I do. I think they're Royals, mad. Royals twins would have been interesting, but your twins gave them the business are giving them the business. They're giving them the business as of right now. Yeah. Let's put Royal Island out there. Royals fans. 13. Be a little mad at us. So you got two slots left. Yep. And like I mentioned, it, it seems like. Seems like you are a record hoe, um, which to me that would mean you need Red Sox and Mets on the board. I like I like the Mets. Right, I've been I've talked about them. They did go on a big time heater. I I think they have a long lineup. I, I like what they've been able to do. Red Sox have been completely 500, like almost the entire year. Uh, even the, I mean, if you're looking right now at their record over the last 30, it's 15 and 15, last 20, 10 and 10, last 10, 5 and 5. The offense has been really good for them as of late. They got some really fun players. I think, I think I got to put Boston there. I think Boston has to be here. Yeah. My, my, my only qualm with the Red Sox is they do have the best record against teams under 500. Um, mm -hmm. In a way, you should only be docked so many points from that because that's that's a good thing. That's what you need to be doing. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess if we're comparing the Red Sox, if we're comparing the Red Sox and the Mets, and then even if you wanted to bring in a Cardinals, Giants, whoever, the Red Sox have been a tier above them. I think so. Okay. So Red Sox at 14. So now it's between the Mets, St. Louis, San Francisco. I think, I think those so. Those are the three. And San Francisco's kind of been on a heater. The Giants were 14th on my original board. 
they got everybody kind of firing now in that pitching staff. Talk about a different team. Offense has been going. Fitzgerald, his dad wrote the great Gatsby. Mm. And he just hits homers. Right. Hmm. Maybe it was his grandpa that wrote great Gatsby. Wait, is that true? No, it's not. True. Okay, I was going to say, you, <laughs> you following up with that. I was like, wait, I'm out. Uh, I mean, it might be true. Sounded like you were, you were like correcting yourself. I mean, let's go Giants 15. Let's go Giants 15. I mean, they they have found some, like my formula, as you guys know, right. I like starting pitching. They got starting pitching. They got dogs in that rotation. I like when you go out and spend money in free agency. They went out and spent money in free agency. And, and you know, Chappie's been really, really good. For them. Go check out Chappie's war, by the way. Mm. He's doing it. And then you got to have guys step up for you. Fitzgerald's been great. Elliot Ramos has been great. You know, it's uh, they got Patrick Bailey doing incredible things behind the plate defensively. Like they have a little bit of everything going on uh, with them. And then they've had to figure it out in the back end of their bullpen, which is crazy to think like what happened to Camilo Doval. But um, I think if we're, the, we're, I think we're doing trending now. And if we're doing trending, I, I think we got to put the Giants at 15. Yeah, I mean, I I like them. I mean, I I feel like the Mets feels like some of the Mets juju has faded a little bit. Um, Gosh, the Mets, they so they're missing. So they're going to be like on that sixteen seventeen range right now, huh? I mean, I originally threw out a top sixteen, which made you laugh. Um, yeah. Do we like St. Louis at all? Has anyone liked St. Louis? Do Cardinals fans no, like St. Louis? They don't like no. I've been I've been getting tweets yeah. saying just please declare us dead. Oh, I well, believe yeah, the Reds came fallen. into town. That's they the only thing that could down. save their season. Um Reds going for the sweep today on opener day. Ooh, Cardinals got the Dodgers in Milwaukee and Minnesota coming up. Um Giants, I kind of like them in the Braves the next two. I like the Giants. I Dude, they're talent wise. I think if we started a new, if we started a new fresh season, we were doing a sixty gamer to the finish, a la twenty twenty. I'd I'd be buying giant stock. Like they are a new squad right now. Okay, I'm in. I'm in. Okay, I'm in. So Mets and Let's Cardinals read. miss the board. Click. Let's read the list. I have the list. <clears throat> One through five. I have. Dodgers, Phillies, Orioles, Yankees, Guardians. Mm. Six through ten, we went Diamondbacks, Padres, Astros, Brewers, Twins. And 11 through 15, Mariners, Braves, Royals, Red Sox, Giants. Cardinals, Mets. Miss Cardinals, out. Mets just on the outs. You guys hate our team. Like, no, like nobody else should be furious with us right they'll be in the comments that's why it's a top 15 um i mean mets fans might be might have some ammo in a week as they finish up with oakland and miami oakland's had one of the better records yeah. in the last month they're co- oakland 15 oakland 15 are they coming on strong um yeah i i think aren't the didn't only they lose to oakland last yeah. night yeah the only Shit. team with a right to be furious would be the Milwaukee Brewers. I, I think you could make very similar Cleveland Guardians arguments. Um, what did we have them at nine? I think so. Then up nine, they were higher on my original. We're plotting. just we're, it's a little bit of recency bias. The Padres and Snakes have been playing such good ball as of late. Well, the it's other a, thing it's is a little bit of a trending chart. The NL Central is so uninspiring right now. Yeah, who's pushing them? You know. Cubs didn't get a shout out. Cards didn't make yeah. the board. Like I think by games out, I think the Reds are like the next best team after Cardinals Mets. I guess and I, they feel out. I guess defending yourself um on the Guardians and the Twins. The AL Central has winning records in there. The Royals, the Twins, the Guardians, they've they've been winning all year. I know they've beat up on some of the bads, whatever. Uh, if the Cardinals lose tonight, the Brewers are the only team in their division above 500. Um, so, hey. I think, I think, I think we kind of nailed We didn't talk about Tampa. They're one game under 500 right now, but they've kind of like 
I don't want to say they sold their season off, but yeah, they're just they're not there. Crazy they know that. Can I feel like they NFL. win three games, then they lose three games, and that's just their cycle. They're back, they're gone. I think we did a good job. I think we did a great job. Um, everyone, sound off in Can't the wait comments. for this graphic to come out. Oh, oh. Mm. the TB top fifteen notifications muted. <laughs> Hey, just uh, kidding. I read every single one. Every single one. Make sure you comment. Uh, we need more Evan Longoria's in this world. God. Follow him on Insta big time. Hey, uh, a- a- that's actually a great point. If you made it this long, yeah. you're a fan of ours. Number one, like and subscribe here. And then also just go on a random Evan Longoria Instagram and just say, hey, Ev, love you. From he'll, talking he might, he'll probably reply. And just give it a week on his IG story because you'll see him. He'll post a picture. Hey, anyone know how to chop this tree down? Uh, next story will be like his update, his update on the UFC fight. <laughs> yeah. yeah, him doing jujitsu. Um, and then it'll be like, anyone know a plumber in the lower? He's the a San statue Diego? guy. This guy He's is a, statue. a fucking statue. He's a statue guy. Hey, thank you, everyone. We will see you back Friday, maybe a little early. We'll see. Um, Big weekend for us. Fanatics Fest. Uh, Sound off. Where? Give us your rankings. Jake sucks. I gotta go play tennis today. Gotta get this cardio. life now. A lot of work coming up.